Once you've learned all about derivatives and differentiation, it's time to do the opposite, antiderivatives or antidifferentiation. So this is a super, super important topic in calculus. This leads into integrals, one of the three main topics in calculus. So these are super, super important. Uh, and basically, if you've got a function f of x, the antiderivative of f of x and you usually call that uh, f of x with a capital F. f of x, capital F of x, would be something that if you took the derivative of capital F of x, you would get your function. And I think it's a little more clear once you look at this picture here. Basically, if you take the derivative of your capital F of x, if you differentiate it, you would get little f of x. And if you took the antiderivative of f of x, you would get capital F of X. So let's take a look at an actual example of this. Let's look at X squared. Okay. Well, the derivative of X squared is 2X. That means the antiderivative of X of 2X is X squared. I think that makes sense. And there's a little thing we have to do when we take the antiderivative, we have to do this thing uh, where you add c, you add a constant, and that's just because whenever you take the derivative, a constant goes to zero. So there might have been a constant up there we have to account for, but that's not a huge deal at the moment. Well, just another quick example. Let's say I had um, the log of x, the natural log of x. Well, then the derivative of the natural log of x is 1 over x. And that must mean that the antiderivative of 1 over x is the natural log of x. Okay, it's just kind of this circular process. Let's introduce something else. Now, when you take an antiderivative, you'll see this thing. Now, this is called an integral symbol. Okay, so whatever this is, this means take the integral or take the antiderivative of whatever is next to it. So let's look at let's look at that example we had. If I wanted to take the integral, so this says take the integral or the antiderivative of 2x, and there's one more thing, there's always this dx next to it. I'll talk a little bit about what that is later. You might remember that from differentials, but for now, this is the problem. So this says take the antiderivative of 2x. And we know that the antiderivative of 2x is x squared. And I need to add plus c for plus a constant because if I took the derivative of this thing, the constant would go to zero anyway. And this would be the answer. So this whole thing might be a problem on one of your tests. What if, well, we knew that the derivative of x squared was 2x, so the antiderivative of 2x must have been x squared. But what if you didn't know off the top of your head? Like, what if, what if you had the antiderivative of x to the ninth dx? Could you figure that out really quick? What can you take the derivative of to get x to the ninth? It's not so simple, but there is a formula. So here is the general antiderivative formula. If you want the antiderivative of f of x, which is the integral symbol of f of x dx, actually, I'm going to change this. If you want the integral of x to the n dx, how about that? We'll keep it simple for now. Well, what you do, you remember the power rule, don't you? The power rule says multiply by n and subtract 1, and if we're doing the opposite of that, then we're just going to do that in the opposite order. So instead of subtracting 1 from the power, I'm going to add 1 to the power. And instead of multiplying by that power, I'm going to divide by that power. And since it's an antiderivative, I need to add plus c. So here is your antiderivative 
formula. And this is provided that n does not equal negative 1. We'll talk about that a little later. Uh, and that's simply because if you plug negative 1 into this formula, you get negative 1 plus 1 is z dividing by 0, so that's no good. All right, there's your introduction to antiderivatives. Uh, I guess I should be full circle and do this problem now that I've told you how to do it. If you want to take the antiderivative of x to the ninth, you add 1 to the power and divide by the new power. And you can check that if you take the derivative of this thing on the right, you will get x to the ninth. All right, there's your antiderivative introduction. I hope you got something out of it. Please like and subscribe and have a great day.